If you run a local business, you might want to display your Google reviews from your Google business profile directly on your website. This is going to instantly provide social proof to your website visitors and ultimately drive more form submissions, phone calls and more sales. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well on your side of the world. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm gonna share how you can simply add and display your Google business reviews directly on your WordPress website in just a few minutes. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into your WordPress website. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that you wanna to do to actually add your Google reviews from your Google business profile into your WordPress website is you want to log into your WordPress website and then navigate over to the left-hand sidebar and locate plugins and then come down and click on add new. Then simply navigate over to search plugins and type in Google reviews. Then simply navigate down and locate this plugin here, Plugin for Google Reviews by Rich Plugins. You can see that this plugin has over 100,000 active installation and high positive reviews. Now it's best practice to actually back up your WordPress website before you install plugins or update plugins and themes. This is in case any of your plugins or themes clash together and break your website. So again, this is just best practice. If you're not too sure how to actually back up your WordPress website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of backing up your WordPress website. So again, backing up your WordPress website is not essential however it is best practice before installing new plugins then simply navigate up to install now and then once the plugins installed simply go ahead and click on activate then once you have installed and activated this Google reviews plugin you'll be taken to the widget section within this plugin then simply come down and name your widget we're going to call this Google reviews homepage because what I want to do is add the Google reviews to the homepage of this website. Then simply navigate over to save and update. And then what we want to do is go ahead and connect Google. We need to find our place ID. So this is our Google business profile, our listing. And what we want to do is connect our Google reviews with our website, with this plugin. So to do that, head over to your browser and type in your business name and search for your Google business profile listing. And here on Google, you can see the Google business profile, the reviews for this listing. Go ahead and click on Google reviews, then navigate up to write a review and right click here. Then navigate down and locate inspect. And then what you wanna do is find data PID. And what you wanna do is copy this section here. So again, next to data PID, you want to copy this code over here. Simply right click and come down and click on copy. Then simply head back over to WordPress and then navigate over to place ID, right click and go ahead and paste that ID. Then navigate up to choose a language if required. I'm gonna go ahead and select English and then click on connect Google. And then after you've clicked connect Google, the Google reviews plugin will connect to your Google business profile and the reviews and then display your reviews down here. Now what we can do is further customize the look and feel of our Google reviews over on the right hand side. Simply come down to layout and click here. You can choose list for a list display if you like. However, I personally like the slider view. Then navigate down to common options and you might want to change the maximum characters before you see read more. However, I like the amount of characters that are shown. Then down here, we have a few options for removing specific elements. For example, we can hide the based on reviews. We can hide the review us on Google button. We can also hide the rating header as well as hide the reviews. However, we're gonna keep these all unselected. Then come down to slider options. We're gonna go ahead 
and change this to 10 seconds and that's the speed of this slider so 10 seconds gives people enough time to read each review before the slider automatically moves across then come down and you can change the text height i'm happy with the default text height then come down to hide background you can choose to hide the background if you like you can hide the previous and next buttons however for user navigation i recommend keeping this unselected and then you can also hide the dots which are these little dots down here again keeping the dots allows for better user navigation then we also have style options if we navigate down we can change the container max and width if we like as well as the max and height then if we come down we also have these other basic options down here and we have advanced options However, you can always come back to these customization settings if you like and customize the way that your Google reviews display on your website. For me, I personally like the default layout. All I changed was the 10 second duration of the slider. Then once you've made your changes, simply navigate up to save and refresh. Then navigate over to widgets and then navigate down to the widget you created and go ahead and click on edit. And again, that's gonna take you back to your widget where you can customize this Google review widget. Then what you wanna do is copy this short code here when you're ready to display this widget on your website. So go ahead and right click and come down and click on copy. And I'm gonna navigate over to my website and click on visit website. And with this website, we're using the Divi theme. However, what I'll do is show you how to use the Divi theme as well as Elementor and the standard editor inside WordPress. So we're gonna go ahead and enable the visual builder with Divi, then come down and locate the section on your website page that you wanna add your Google reviews. Let's say I wanted to add my Google reviews down here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click add new row and then a full row. And within that row, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a module by coming down and typing in code and then clicking on code. Then I'm gonna come down, click on code and paste in the code in here. And then come down and click on the green tick. And as you can see, I have this widget in here now. What I can do is navigate down and click here and then navigate over to save to save these changes. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and exit out of the visual builder so I can test our new Google review widget. So here we are on the home page. I'm gonna navigate down. And here we are on the section. If I was a website visitor, I can navigate over to review us on Google to leave a review. I can also navigate through each of these different reviews. And I can also scroll down to read the entire review. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so how do we add this widget with Elementor? All I would do on my new page is click here, choose a structure, I'm gonna go ahead and go wide, and then navigate up here, and then over on widgets on the left hand side, type in short code. And then all I would do is click on the short code and drag that in here. Then simply paste in the Google review widget. And then all you would do is come down and hit publish. However, we're not gonna do that for this website because this Google review widget is not for this website. This is just an example of how to do it if you're using Elementor. Now, if you just use the WordPress editor, I'll quickly show you how to use this now. Within WordPress, if you're just using the WordPress editor to create your website pages, navigate up to add block and then type in shortcode and drag that shortcode and then simply paste in the shortcode and navigate up to preview to preview that Google review widget before you go ahead and publish those changes. However, it's as simple as that to add your Google reviews from your Google business profile directly into your WordPress website. And there we have it guys for this brief tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care team.